Before we move on, be sure to subscribe and with notifications on so you don't miss any of our videos. We see here the first wave that is created by the bow of the ship. As speed increases, the wave increases, and this mass of water will slow down the ship. With the addition of the bulb, a second wave will appear below the bow. La somme de la vague créée par le bulbe et la vague créée par l'étrave va donner une vague nulle. With the disappearance of the enormous wave at the front of the ship, less energy is needed to move the ship forward. The size and form of the bulb adapts to the bow of each vessel. The selection of the most effective profile for a bulb is the work of hydrodynamic engineers. L'hydrodynamique est quand même responsable sur la vie d'un bateau de 50% de la consommation à bord annuelle. Donc il est très important de, de s'assurer de la performance, d'une très bonne performance hydrodynamique. A bulb with the best possible profile decreases water resistance by 20%. This process has been specially developed for very large vessels. The other part of the liner that also experiences water resistance is the hull of the ship. Like the bulb, the shape of the hull of the Meraviglia has also been subject to considerable research and, as such, has benefited from a new system for its design. Ce qui a été une révolution un petit peu sur le Meraviglia, c'est la façon dont a été menée l'optimisation. A world first, the Meraviglia benefits from software that allows settings of the hull to be cross-referenced with sea conditions. This software takes advantage of new high-performance algorithms called CFD calculations. This new technology for the study of fluid mechanics has shown spectacular results, which has allowed the hull of the Meraviglia to be designed with the perfect profile. Le CFD, c'est Computational Fluid Dynamics. Ça consiste à résoudre les équations de Navier-Stokes. C'est les équations qui génèrent, qui, qui gèrent la, la mécanique des fluides, euh, avec certaines hypothèses de turbulence, euh, et qui nous permettent de déterminer euh, l'écoulement à, à travers toute la, la, la forme de la carène, à travers tout point, d'une façon numérique. These calculations of the turbulence acting on the hull of an ocean liner are a revolutionary part of the Meraviglia's design. The results obtained inform engineers about the speed of the ship with different hull shapes. They allow designers to model more than 150 different hulls according to the researchers' experiments to finally arrive at the ideal shape. Au résultat de ces calculs numériques, on sélectionne une, une forme de carène et on fabrique un modèle hein, à une échelle qui est de l'ordre du 1 20 e Donc on a des modèles qui sont quand même très grands et qui font de l'ordre de 13 à 14 mètres de long. Euh, et on les teste en bassin pour déterminer les performances hydrodynamiques de, euh, du, du navire. On several giant models, sensors are installed to measure the resistance of the water at a given speed, a process that has existed for several decades but that is probably seeing its final days. This is because the results obtained by the computer are astounding. For the first time, the figures given by computer calculations are just as precise as those measured by the sensors of the model. And it is not just the hull of the Meraviglia that benefits from this innovation. It is also the propellers. Known as the weights, they are the second revolution of the Meraviglia. They are responsible for advancing the enormous mass of the ship. Monsters of steel, about 20 meters high, coupled with gigantic propellers.
They have a propulsion power that has never been seen on a ship like this one. Combining speed, new perspectives in travel and increased comfort of passengers, they are the future of cruise liners. The Meraviglia is at the forefront of this formidable revolution. Each of the two electric motors produces 20 million watts, the equivalent of 7,000 washing machines, the highest electric power ever produced for a propeller of this size. On the lower rear part, a wing controls the direction. Powered by the engine, the propellers drive the liner forward with a maximum speed of 25 knots, an impressive feat for a ship of 80,000 tonnes, the equivalent of nearly 6,000 buses. But this is not their only feature. They also give the ship incredible manoeuvrability. The result? The Meraviglia will be able to dock in ports that would have been impossible with the old style of propellers, a real plus for the passengers. Another innovation is the automatic control of the engine power, which has been improved by the engineers, to avoid any risk of catastrophe as seen here. A cruise ship more than 300 meters long with 4,000 passengers leaves a small port on the coast of Messina in Italy. The captain has apparently not measured the power of his pods. The port experiences giant waves destroying several ships. The damage costs several hundred thousand euros. In addition to their power, these new generation propellers allow for fluidity of navigation. There are almost no vibrations felt on the ship. C'est une révolution, c'est une révolution et pour nous il n'y a que des avantages avec effectivement des pods. On n'a pas de, de, de sillage lié à une ligne d'arbre ou lié à un bras de chaise qui tient la ligne d'arbre, qui en fait est le principal générateur de turbulence euh, qui est très mal perçu par les hélices et qui en fait euh, augmente les pressions sur la carène. The result, cruising at speed does not bother the passengers on the ship. But the pods are not the only ones to provide energy to the Meraviglia. Four diesel engines on the ship act as a power station. C'est complètement une petite ville, c'est une ville qui produit son électricité, qui a ses systèmes de sécurité, qui produit son eau, très important également la production d'eau, euh, qui fait du froid, de la climatisation pour le confort des passagers. Euh, voilà, donc c'est une ville qui se déplace. The Meraviglia, with its 2,500 cabins, casinos, theatres and other leisure facilities, is very energy intensive. If you add to that the energy consumption of the 7,000 people living on board, it's clear there are very different needs to meet. On va commencer en bas avec du 11000 volts, puis après on va alimenter chacune des tranches du navire comme des, en fin de compte, comme des transformateurs de lotissement, hein, voilà. Et donc là on va abaisser le courant électrique en 400 volts ou en 440 volts suivant les besoins, puis on va finir par trouver dans la cabine du passager du 230 volts comme à la maison pour brancher son rasoir le matin ou le sèche-cheveux de madame. The pods, as well as the four engines manufactured by subcontractors, were transported here to the construction dock where the assembly was carried out. The floors of the ship that have been assembled are brought here to this 900 meter construction zone. Like a giant's construction game, the blocks are stacked on top of each other. It is impossible to imagine this without this machine that allowed them to be moved. The large gantry crane, called the TGP, is the largest lifting machine in all of Europe. A giant weighing over 5,000 tons, the equivalent of 10 A380 airplanes, a structure made of ultra-resistant steel at 100 meters high. At maximum capacity, it can lift nearly 1,200 tons. The Meraviglia would not exist without it. 
à titre de comparaison, ce navire-là, avec l'ancien portique, il aurait fallu faire une centaine de blocs. Et des blocs pas... Euh, le portique nous a permis de gagner plusieurs semaines, voire mois, de temps d'occupation de la cale. C'est juste un outil exceptionnel. Le premier bloc qu'on pose, c'est généralement un bloc forcément de fond, euh, à peu près au milieu du navire. Euh, et puis après, on, on, on vient mettre un bloc devant, un bloc derrière, un bloc dessus, et puis, et puis petit à petit, on monte en pyramide jusqu'à assembler les, la cinquantaine de blocs. This giant moving bridge works with two carriages. In each of the carriages, two lifting systems are positioned at the ends. In each lifting system, there is a single 1,400 meter long cable that is lengthened or retracted to raise or lower the load as required. Each of the cables passes through a lifting beam, which makes it possible to adjust its length to the nearest centimeter. At the other end of the cable, five anchoring points are attached. Once the four lifting beams are connected to the gigantic structure, it is lifted a few centimeters, and the balancing of the entire structure is done at this precise moment. Once the balance is perfect, the block is lifted, moved over to the construction zone, and then placed on the ship. High precision maneuvering. On the ground, the slingers direct the operation. They give precise indications to the gantry crane operator so that the gigantic structures fit perfectly together. On a toujours à faire preuve une part d'imprévu, notamment parce qu'on met de plus en plus de préarmement à l'intérieur, donc on essaye de mettre des tuyaux, des gaines de ventilation, des, des échappements, des gros équipements. Donc il se peut qu'on ait parfois euh, quelques interférences. Et qu'au moment où on pose le bloc, ben, on soit obligé de, redé de redémonter, de redécouper deux, trois éléments qu'on a mis. Perched 100 meters above the action, Jackie Perry is the pilot of the gantry crane. He has been working on these construction sites for 16 years. Thanks to its very easy handling, the gantry crane takes less than three hours for a block of more than a thousand tons to fit perfectly into another. It took only nine months for the Meraviglia to take its definitive form. But although it is fast, maneuvering these mountains of steel is still dangerous for the workers underneath. Jackie Perry has no margin of error when he's moving a giant block with a simple joystick. Et là, c'est vite fait. Hein. Une fois qu'il y a un faux mouvement, bah, une fois que ça prend le ballon, il y a une main qui passe ou autre, c'est trop tard, on ne peut pas réagir. Hein. The blocks assembled by the gantry crane were lifted a few meters away in a hangar over 900 meters long. This building is entirely dedicated to welding the 300,000 pieces of sheet metal. This is a stage where workers are needed to replace the less skilled machines. Marianique has been a welder on the building sites for five years. For the Meraviglia, everything must be extremely precise. C'est de l'art un peu parce qu'on voilà, il y a plein de reprends, refait jusqu'à ce que on ne voie plus rien. On soude, on meule, on ressoude pour que ça soit voilà, qui est pas de trou. Une soudure, elle doit pas être ni roulée ni creuse, elle doit être plate. Donc ça se voit tout de suite ça. Yet other welds can look perfect but conceal serious imperfections because the metal can change shape or retract. These welding problems are difficult to detect and become much more serious when the liner is already assembled. Des fois ça casse, ça casse juste au-dessus de la fissure, c'est là où il y a eu la plus de température et du coup ça casse ici et là bon bah ça se voit qu'après 
c'est deux tôles qui en fin de compte sont posées l'une sur l'autre et nous on vient ajouter un métal qui fait fondre une toute petite couche et qui en gros comme de la colle et du coup c'est vrai que si c'est cassé ça, ça peut s'affaisser il, il y a des tonnes et des tonnes de, de métal du coup c'est vrai qu'une fissure continue continuera continuera jusqu'à ce qu'elle arrive à trouver un, un, une fin mais le problème c'est que ça peut faire des kilomètres de fissures donc là c'est ça peut être très très grave and so the security checks are extremely strict the assembled sheets become increasingly sophisticated as the first fittings are added 